working the land. Well, so, no hunting, no hunting, stop hunting. Over the past few months, I've been working to clear this space. I've done it all by hand. Just me and my trusty shovel. Okay, that's not true. Let me introduce you to our newest family member. If you have no experience with landscaping like I do, stubbornly, I didn't think this was gonna be that much work and it might not look like a lot, but it's been months just to get to this stage. Not, it's not even flat yet. <laughs> that was awesome. Ah. What's the plan, what are we doing? Well, we live on a beautiful three acre lot with basically no flat land to play games, play fetch. By the end of this video, we plan to have grass. Here's where we're at. We're happy with the overall size that we've got going. Obviously, we hit a massive rock, which we were not planning for. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Essentially, continuing leveling this side, clearing some of this side, and then comes the difficult part is trying to figure out what to do with these big piles of rock, stick, dirt combinations. Get up there, yeah. Oh, good boy. King of the castle. Who's my good boy? All right, now clean up that whole mess, thanks. Here's what I'm thinking. Those three piles up there, they need to be cleaned, screened. So I'm gonna make a homemade soil screen. In theory. Okay, we made a box. Hey bud, yeah. do you want to be in the video? Yeah. I'm making a video. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Just say hi. Oh, sure. Oh! <laughs> hi everybody. Let's get to work. Yeah, baby. My mom and Gord came up yesterday, so that's why the construction kind of stopped. Gord and I are gonna continue on the screen. How you doing, buddy? Sunshine! I told the girls the, the soil screen is ready, and they had no idea what we were building. Oh my gosh, honestly. This is 10 times bigger. Yeah, I, I definitely... I literally thought you were building like a little tiny colander sized <laughs> shaker. Alright, there's definitely going to be some tweaks we need to make, but we're going to bring it up to the soil. Give her a test run. Alright, test number one. <laughs> test one failed. <laughs> Got to adjust. Test number two. Great success. Great success. The angle's wrong, the mesh is obviously wrong. Well, I'm not gonna lie, you could probably tell I wasn't fully convinced this was gonna work because I left all the two by eights, or two by four by eights, full size, because I didn't want to waste the wood. So, uh, you want to take apart a soil screen board? <laughs> yeah, 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 let's do that. That'll be fun. What a good idea. I'm just gonna buy some topsoil. What do you think of all that soil? Hey, I'm looking to get a price on sod. Okay. So you just uh, multiply your... You gotta you make it level. Yeah, because the roots have to grab onto the earth. Right. Okay, I'm gonna make some lunch and then we'll figure out what we're doing. What are you gonna make? Keep it up? Nope. Perfect day in Canada, eh? You want a job? Yeah, yeah, what's my job? Yeah, if you're not gonna pay rent, I'll have to get something out of you. You guys remember the field? Yeah, me too. Also, I keep moving these sticks and you keep bringing them back. Drop it. Well, they say don't work with children and animals, bro. You can have both. Ooh. Oh! So I actually happened to be visiting here almost exactly one year to the day 
Did you just pee or is that me? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you better not off. Did. No, you didn't. Uh, I'd feel it. And Eamon really talked up about how this space, by the time I got back, was going to be this games field. It's not like I've been sleeping doing nothing. As you can see, that massive rock that was here is now gone. And I've just been waiting for some muscle, some Australian muscle to come and help with the next phase, which is a big transformation. We're putting down sod. Now I know that doesn't sound exciting or like thinking about clicking off the video. Don't click off the video. It's going to be epic. And apparently the fun activities you do in Canada is pull weeds because that's what we're doing on this absolutely cracker day. I'm going to split the field in half, Max. I get the right side, you get the left. Yeah, the left looks way better. I'll take that. Look how many weeds are over there. Okay, we'll rock, paper, scissors for left. Get them from the root. They'll come up, quick. Choose your weapon. Is that a bad choice? Oh, so you get that one. You go this side, you said the right, I got the left. It goes like this then. Yeah. Look at this, look at this shit. Actually, you get this. No, you got all that. Wow, this is, uh, this is quite the YouTube content, hey? <laughs> Are you getting right from the root? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maxie, if you're gonna do it, you do it right, Maxie. Don't look up, dude, just keep your head down. <laughs> Where's Beck? Oh my god, I feel so bad, but... <laughs> hey, you in there, bud? I feel yeah. bad, dude. You flew all the way for this. <laughs> Are we really doing all this? <laughs> You've done, like, a meter and a half squared. <laughs> <laughs> One guy left. Let's save him. <laughs> You'll survive, buddy. You can come to the greenhouse. He loves to bite my foot when I'm riding. It's so annoying. Don't forget to follow my channel, Max and Oki. That was sick. You're probably wondering by this point, where is the pregnant beauty? She is not doing well. She's got a serious cough and cold and sinus and yuckiness. So before we go have fun for the rest of the day, Max made her a watermelon drink. <laughs> Way to go, Max. Thank you. I'm coming in. I'm bringing you your juice. Okay. Here you go. Love you. What are you watching? Do you want to tell the vlog or no? Love Island. <laughs> Glenn, how you doing? Uh, Any chance I can get that topsoil still? You ready Let's to get dirty. You ready to start shoveling there, muscles? Woo! <laughs> 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 got the technique down. Okay, thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. Thanks, Glenn. Congratulations. Oh, I couldn't be more thrilled. Thank you. <laughs> There's an invoice inside. <coughs> Gonna need you to pay that. Exciting morning, huh? Proud owner of a new track. Look at your day. smile behind the camera. I realize you might be a little confused as we had a tractor last year. That was just a rental and. Sorry, Kubota. So we need something a little bigger. I'm jealous. Super jealous. And excited, but also we just woke up, so. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, that works. Oh. 
Well, this ought to make the next couple days a lot easier. Give it a twist, maybe? A twist? That's it. Oh, there here we go. Oh, yeah, that's a little better. Okay, nice. It sure Puts down. Does. Right, just go forward. forward. Yeah. Go forward. Hold on. No, wait. There it goes. There we go. There you go. All right. Very nice. That's good. Chin-ups on this? Spreading yeah. soil way more fun. The question is, can you do chin-ups on this? <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely going to make the next couple of days much easier and far more enjoyable than just picking weeds. Big thanks to our friends at Harding Ting Equipment. We're going to make some good use of that girl. There have been a lot of changes over the last year, but the one thing that has not changed is our daily habit with AG1. And I want to say a big thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video and continuing to support our channel. Even though I like to cook and make three great meals a day, it's still difficult to have the perfect diet, which is why I love turning to AG1 to help fill my nutritional gaps. Just one scoop contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. It's like taking a multivitamin, superfood complex, and probiotic all in one tasty, delicious drink. And it couldn't be easier. All you do is combine one scoop with a glass of cold water, shake it up, and enjoy. I'll be honest, we do genuinely feel better when we drink this every single day. It supports your energy levels, gut health, and immunity. We've been drinking this for the past three years, and I would love for you to give it a try. Visit ag1.com slash Eamon and Beck, and you'll receive five free travel packs plus a year supply of vitamin D with your first purchase. Super delicious when it's ice cold. Mm. First thing we're gonna do here on the pitch is move some of these rocks. There was just kind of a big pile that we're just gonna line the field with. I kind of quickly did a little bit and Max needs a little bit of practice. It's kind of tricky to learn which way you turn the joystick. Once you get it, you get it, but you need time. That was my first go, guys. Yeah. I'll get better. You're two feet off. <laughs> this might take a while. Well, hello. Hi. Buddy, you're bringing me drinks? Strawberry milkshake. Oh, you're the best. I figured you didn't eat today. Haven't eaten oh, I know you so well. How are you feeling? 2% better? Yeah. When I'm, when I'm coughing and snotting now, like big chunks of like yellow are coming out. Right. You know what's crazy? I was so looking forward to this being a year later and me being out of cancer treatment and me being pregnant and like showing you how vibrant and healthy I can be after a year's time. Can't catch a break, so <laughs> I just... <coughs> Hang on, guys. Yucky. Welcome to the job site. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, that's when my cough gets really bad. Anyways, um, I miss you guys, and hopefully I'll be in full swing of things in the next episode, but just trying to nurse myself back to health, take care of baby as best I can, you know? Nearly 23 week update. <laughs> That's the first load. Doesn't look like much. <laughs> I jumped on the lawnmower. I was doing some maintenance. I said, okay, Max, you got this. Get some hours under your belt. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> I feel so bad. Honestly, don't know how that happened, hey. So basically, I'm shocked this happened because like I've ran that bucket into like rock. Was this not on? But I just pulled it off, so it, would, it was. You know what I mean? If this quick release wasn't on or something, but. Well, it did pop out of there for some reason. Like that was out. Oh, but... look at that. So maybe I didn't have it in? No. Mm, I wouldn't put this on you. I'm pretty sure that was my fault. This quick release is now bent. Problem is, I don't think they'll time to fix this right away. No. And they'll think we're. 
fucking idiots. Okay, um, let's try and bend it back, dude. Maybe we can fix it before Beck realizes. It's not Max's fault. Okay, it's kind of Max's fault. Now, what's the theory? So this, as you can see, is really turned in that way. And that's happened because this side has popped out of the, um, the bucket when I've had forward momentum and it's kind of pushed up and tried to run over it, really. Why are you pushing it up? Hold on. It's definitely better now. It's got a little kink up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brand new bucket, eh? Yeah, that's really loud. I reckon for a couple guys living in the country, that's pretty good. <laughs> the problem is this bracket is definitely tweaked. So I think Max will need to buy me a new one of these. But <laughs> other than that, we good. Yeah. I, um, I'll, I'll get you. Everything in. is fine. I'll get him a new quick release. And I was giving Eamon a lot of pushback. He wanted to cut my hair that I've been growing for a couple of years into a mullet and um, I think I owe you bud so <laughs> <laughs> let's do it can't do everything with a machine we're gonna have to rake by hand now Wow, okay, so are we distracted? Are you, are you just <laughs> chopping? Are you <laughs> thinking about what you're doing there? 100% I got uh, this. Okay. He's definitely I not. I'm trusting him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, okay. He's Dude, just going for it, he's hey? Just going. Eamon, I know you got to do a load of shopping and stuff, but don't rush this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I got to get into town, buddy. Please oh! don't. Because like people when they do mullets, I don't think they know how to do them. Hmm. Are you doing the beard or no? Shake your head, real quick. Don't let him rock shake. Oh, I've got no hair left to shake. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see it for the first time in the mirror in there. Yeah, sure. Okay. Wait, hold on. I, I reckon I gotta clean it. The goldie. This is a little weird. Okay, get rid of it. Wow, that's such a last minute game time decision. God, the curls are so nice. Beautiful. Wow. See that technique? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I hope that was a good wow. <laughs> Amos taking bookings, you guys. We're yeah. uh, moving Little side into... gig? Yeah. Gotta pay for those new tractor attachments somehow. Exactly. Well, we have to pay for your <laughs> mess up first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow, actually no. It looks sick, not bad. Right? Yeah. No. Good. Good. Change is good, bad. I'm ready to be a tractor driver now. All right, let's grab the cowboy boots and All go. Right. Morning, Roger. You putting on your ragers? <laughs> let's saw it. I'm a little concerned by the, you see the, the tilt here? And I want my grass and end up on the highway. What's up, Gary? How are you? Good, man. How you doing? So far, so good. Um, I'm wondering if you guys have uh, trailer hitch step down. That's exactly it. Yeah, can you put your foot there? That doesn't really do much. 
might have got the math wrong. That sod looks a lot heavier than we calculated for. So we're gonna put one on and see how we go. That looks heavy. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Take it off. Too much? It's too much. The back end just popped up. We got almost half of one. That guy was not too sold on this concept, but we're not sure if they can deliver today, so we'll take what we can and yeah, make most of it. We made it. Now the tricky part. Yeah, Bronco. That's less than one pallet. No. <laughs> yeah, that's less than a third of what's meant to be there. So what are we gonna do? They're gonna try and deliver it. Oh, nice. Nice and easy. About time something went right this morning. <laughs> <laughs> First of many. Oh, baby. Whoa, that's it? I, was I thought that was gonna keep rolling. Yeah, I was picturing a longer row. Osa's already loving the grass. Also, what do you think? You like it? It's real. It's real grass. Good angle. Yeah. It's gonna be a way more satisfying time lapse than the soil. Oh, yeah. Max, get up. Inspector's here. Oh, hey, boss. Oh, that's. So cool. That's sick or what? I can just see our little kids barefoot running around. I know. Oh, so. Nar. Nar. Naughty dog. Not good. You My little turn. bugger, he's chewing it up. Hey. Oh, so. Oh. Not a game. Oh, so. No. No, so. <laughs> no. That's right. Uh, also. No. Oh, sweet boy. Come here. No. Right in the middle. It looks so good from here too, because all you can see is laid turf. Oh. So while I'm feeling much better today, I'm not quite up to rolling out the sod. So we've decided my role in all of this is just to be the lover of the grass. When you have a plant and you've transplanted it, they say it's really important that you give it lots of love. So I'm just giving the grass love. And monitoring Oso a little bit. <laughs> just waiting on the next delivery. Good news. It made it. It's Sir, you're on my property. I'm filming myself. The truck made it. I'm put the camera down. I'm Hopefully we just get the grass. This has been Woo! All right, we've cooled off a little bit. He is on his way out. We got the sod. And you know, in situations like these, you just really want to take a breath even though he's totally in the wrong for absolutely verbally abusing me on my property for filming me. But you know, you never know what people are going through in their lives, who called him, what kind of mood he's in. So, here we go. We got the sod. Now we just need the muscle and the endurance. Oof. I just can't get over how good you look, dude. Oh, I'm just gonna go for a little oh, curly touch, yeah, nice. How about last night when Max is just like kind of stroking his mullet and then he just pulls out a full piece like this? <laughs> There's still, still little Lucy's in there, that's all right. Oh, so. It's a hard working Aussie. <laughs> I think I've become one with the sword. <laughs> the sword man. Who am I? You sure you want to know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. I've been alone for a long time. Hey kids, it's Sodman! Here to save a landscaping disaster! Sodman, he's here to save the day by killing weed! Every day, kids, <laughs> a roll a day. Keep 
the doctor away. If I'm sod man, what's that make you? I'm just Randy on the rig here. There's the one we've been looking for. We're just going a little bit crazy over here. Buddy. <laughs> you look like a miner. <laughs> Holy smoke. Sodman, finished. Let me see your hands. I, I love, there's something that I love about this of though. Of course. I feel like I'm connected to the earth. Okay, <laughs> <clears throat> go check. Shower mats off? It's nearly midday, the day after the boys were working all through the night to get the sod laid. And I'm dying to go up to see it, but Eamon's saying we have to film my reaction, so. Let me know when you're ready. Wait, wait. Let me change angles. Max, well, why don't you cover your eyes, me? and then we'll put her at the corner. I cover my eyes? No, not you, sod man. You're almost there. <laughs> You are ready. Oh, I can feel it. It feels really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Open ready? your eyes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys must be so proud. We're gonna get Come married on. here. We're Brown totally soul. gonna get married here. So yeah, we Sod did, man like, made me cut the next line. Sod man is smart, yeah. We just need like three more pallets to get all the way over there. Okay? Alright, we'll see you in the next video where we get seven pallets of sod. <laughs> <laughs>